I would do is I would create text on your image and sorry I, I wish you had not sent the image all um, mushed up in a JPEG that I could see the layers and so I could turn off the current uh, glow that you have um, that's kind of a bummer that is there but not much I can do but um, I'm gonna type another glow and then I'm gonna um, go in and command click on the T tool to select it and I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna turn this one invisible I don't need it anymore and I'm gonna do option delete in the new layer that will fill in that selection with the foreground colors that is blue and then I'm going to de deselect everything and I'm going to go in edit, transform, and I'm going to choose, for example, distort. And I'm going to move it where I want it to be. It's really important. And now you can basically take this and start making it kind of like start fitting where you want this to be. And also you can grab the handle, the you know, the outer handle and make it kind of like shape it basically to what you want this glow to fit you can see that right that I'm basically shaping it and I'm sorry that is yours in the background as I said I couldn't turn it off but you can see how now the word glow it looks really actually pretty nice in there already there it is it looks kind of it, what I was telling you it looks kind of vertical parallel to these vertical line follows this this line this diagonal line and all the letter have the same base so how do you do it once again is you create the text as like I did here then you command click on the thumbnail to load the selection then you fill it with a color and option delete will fill it with the foreground color and then you go with the edit um, sorry I need to have something selected that would allow me to have it active edit transform and you can use distort always to me works really really well or skew or perspective so if you do that it will do a nice nice uh, text like this you could if you want to emphasize that text command click on it you can choose a lighter color or a purple or something that you know you really like you can also do and I always put it on a separate layer so I can turn it off edit stroke and you, I don't know how many pixel is worth stroking it you probably want to try Ooh, that's too much sorry so I'm gonna do again edit stroke and instead of four pixels I'm gonna put one or two maybe at the most you see that now when I deselect I have this kind of like um, glow effect the reason why everything is so pixelated is because the image you send me is horrendously small is 72 and is only three inches by four inches now our poster needs to be 18 inches wide by 24 tall at 150 in resolution so I'm really hoping that your um, your poster is correct and you just made it a lot smaller before sending it to me um, I'm really hoping that because otherwise is kind of trouble Anyway, but that's why the quality is so low, but the technique is pretty much this. Create the text, load it as a selection, fill it, and then go in edit, transform, uh, distort, or edit, transform, skew, or edit, transform, perspective, and change that um, text to fit more like a, a 3D um, surface to kind of fit that.